You ready, baby? We're at the Lisbon airport. We gotta go home. No, I want to go to Algarve back. No, no Algarve. What if I take you to Philadelphia for like three hours? Huh? I guess you have to do it. All right, let's go. Well, let's get to Philly for a six hour layup poofer. <laughs> Oh, look at sad Christina. She doesn't want to go home. There, there, baby. Don't cry too much. One of the most impressive city halls I've seen in all of America. enough to fly internationally you still get uh, meals on the plane this is the chicken and barley little side salad as you can see radish cucumber and some lettuce a little cracker a roll of bread a water a cake of some sort that's your chocolate cake and of course so good for your wine. Yeah, babe? All right, we're gonna give this a try. It's actually pretty good. So I'm not saying always, but usually the best part of the meal. But really, the food isn't terrible. So check this out, I've never seen it before. These new windows have buttons and you can either make them darker, or if you hit the other button, they light but right up. it takes up. time. It takes a little bit of time, but. And it can be that bright. Yeah, do you see how bright that window is compared to this one? It's crazy, I've never seen that before on the planes. Should I switch it again? No, just leave it, leave it, it's still lightening up. I thought when we were flying over the Atlantic, it was like a weird twilight hour, because it was all blue outside, but it was like, the window shade sort of down. So we made it to Philadelphia. We got three hours and we're gonna go check out the Liberty Bell and Independence Hall and everything else in that sort of downtown historical corridor. Let's see what we can see in the, about three hours in Philadelphia. Ready, babe? Come with us. Come on. And we are in Philadelphia. We find the train station. Right to downtown. Right down south. Uh, right to Liberty uh, Center. And we're gonna go Liberty to Liberty Square. Square. So Liberty Bell, Independence Hall. It's like 675, 675 per person. And the train is coming in five oh, minutes. So tickets. we are ready to go the center of Philly. Two tickets. Let's go. So Chris thinks I had a little too much fun on the trip from Lisbon to Philadelphia. Maybe, just because I helped her drink all of her wine. But then again, maybe being completely drunk in Philadelphia is the right thing. They say all the founding fathers had a ton of beer and liquor while they were writing the Declaration of Independence. Maybe I'm in the right state of mind. What do you think, babe? I am not right, so I think I'm in the right state of mind. We'll find out. You're a YouTube star. I'm a YouTube star. So we're on the train. We and the cabin 448. We just got off the airplane, so we look wonderful and refreshed. <laughs> and we have like six hours layover, but we have to go back early in the airport because the Centurion Lounge is waiting for us. And we're gonna go to see oh, the Liberty, Liberty Bell. Independence Hall. In the Independent Hall and whatever it is in that area in the park in the center and we're gonna take you with us. Alright, we 
just got off the metro, yeah, babe? At Jefferson Station. And it's you're ready to go? Station. It is really very, pretty. Very beautiful. It's the first station I stayed in the US. The train was very clean, mm -hmm. very empty, kind of. So we had no problems. Ready? Let's go. Ready, let's go. So we just got off the train here in Philly at Jefferson Station. The first thing to see is the Chinatown Friendship Gate. It's pretty, pretty, huh? Yeah, it's beautiful, like Chinese style with yeah. all the colors. But what is more beautiful is this thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Chris is so happy to be back in the States where there's Starbucks again. Not a lot of them in Portugal. So right outside Jefferson Station, obviously is Chinatown by the Chinatown Friendship Gate. Really pretty. Wish we had time to go like check out a restaurant or something. But we only have a very short three hour layover. So we're gonna go back the other way towards Independence Square. Mm. So this is Philadelphia City Hall. That must be one of the most impressive city halls I've seen in all of America, huh, babe? That building is not new. I don't know if it's... A uh, cathedral of some sort. You want to go check that out? Philadelphia really does remind you of like a European city. Probably because it was built in like the 1800s, 1850s. The historic parts of it. This really cool looking building here is the Masonic Temple, also known as the Freemasons. I know really nothing about the Freemasons, quite frankly, except there's like a really old school gang, effectively, including some of these founding fathers like Benjamin Franklin and, yeah, I guess that's supposed to be Washington. So we just walked by the Freemasons. Uh, temple here. It is $15 to go take a tour of it and we do not have the time for it. That's the American. American art starts here. Pennsylvania Academy of Fine Art. Really beautiful building. Wow, amazing. It is. Founded 1805. Yeah, I guess America has always cared about fine art, huh? Yeah. Founded in 1805. So once again, that's the city hall ahead of us. And wow, just look at that steeple way up there, huh? A giant bronze statue up there. I'm not sure who's up there. I'm sure, people smarter than us than us can tell us though. So that's the Declaration House. I believe it's the house that allegedly Thomas Jefferson wrote the Declaration of Independence in. And unfortunately, that's about all the time we have. Bye, Declaration House. So walking around Philly, they're pretty good with the labeling where stuff is. Independent site, visitor center. Uh, where is it? All that type of stuff. Franklin Square, the old city. All right in here. It's a cool building. I'm not sure what it is. But... As far as the National Park Service, so it has to be really important. Let's go check it out, see what we find here. So there's a really cute storyboard here. Film playing about the Constitution and the Bill of Rights. And the Declaration of Independence, of course. Enter the Liberty Bell. So we found the Liberty Bell. Somebody just told us 20 years ago the bell was outside. Now we have to go 
it's inside they make it like a museum but you have to go through this security like we're in the airport and of course we have too much luggage with us because it's just a layover for us so it's easy but we're gonna make it to see the bell Ben is getting ready <laughs> and uh, in the meantime I'm gonna show you all this they make it as a museum and it's pretty it's, in, it's interesting really great display here so the Liberty Belt buildings free to go into it does have sort of like an airport security check to get in a little bit of a pain when you have a bunch of your luggage with you on the layover and there it is there's the Liberty Bell and the famous crack in it So now we're right behind the Liberty Bell, and I believe this is Independence Hall right here. Let's go check this out. Let's see how far we can get into this without paying for a tour or something. Well, judging by these, I'm gonna say that's Old City Hall, Independence Hall, and Congress Hall right there. All in an order, and there's an entry point that you have to go into to get into the complex down here. We're gonna go check it out, or at least some of it, hopefully. All right, so we made it into the complex with uh, the East Wing, Independence Hall, the West Wing, and I think there's one other building here. Most of them you need a tour to go see. Uh, there are tours available. Unfortunately, we got to be on our way back to the airport before it begins. So this is Independence Hall. You need a tour for it. Wish we were thinking ahead and booked it, but that's okay. Independence Hall. There it is. Uh -huh. The building in front of you was built between 1732 and 1736 as a steakhouse of the colony of Pennsylvania. Declaration of Independence in July 4, 1776 and 11 years later in 1787, the United States Constitution. So I'm pretty sure without a tour, you can go in the West Wing of Independence Hall, the Great Escalance. So we're gonna go check this out since we don't have any tickets, no flashlights. So we went in the West Wing. There is not much in there except a copy of the Declaration of Independence, which you can go view. And I think that might just be about our time, baby, in Philly. Something yeah, to time back. to get back yeah. to Jefferson Station to get back to the airport. Time to fly home to Vegas and hopefully get some sleep on the flight. I basically so have we, to go straight to work when we land. We do recommend to come here if you have a six hours layoff. Not bad. It's For not three bad. hours, we saw a lot. It's and I love bad. it. I mean, it's Philadelphia and you get to see like the founding of our country and all that type of stuff, right? And the beautiful architectures. It is it's beautiful everywhere. All right, let's get to Jefferson Station. All right, guys, that's the end of our journey. That's our plane home right there. And we'll see you guys in the next adventure.